Hey guys, first production, and you saw from the title, we have to. <laughs> this is gonna be my video game plush collection, not including indies or whatever the heck they are, they, though. But let us get this simple grounds, though. First of all, the only reason why I did it was because I just, you know, felt like it. <laughs> Number two, no reason not, not including FNAF or Angry Birds is because I'm focused on main consoles and ones that came with the characters. But surprisingly, there are going to be like two characters that are from Indies. I say like release, okay? Like on a specific console, okay? Sadly, uh, no, I'm not gonna sell any of the plushes, okay? Some of these are the valuables, okay? Tell me about it, okay? <laughs> and, fourthly, I could probably make a tutorial about them, though, even though I'll probably not really only have, like, one. Really, that's about it. So, let the plush put. Yeah, I started there. <laughs> Collection begin. We always have to start off summer with a video game series, and mine was... Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, yeah. Strangely enough, this hedgehog that had a weird like, track record of bad games got me into the gaming industry. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Strangely enough, though, Angry Birds was my first one. Well, I only count games on consoles, okay? Not Angry Birds, okay? Those, that's like a mobile. Put it into a game. Does it make sense? Probably not though. And so, <laughs> this is a, a hanger, like a clip, sorry, plush. I don't know, I thought his design looked cool and decided to get him at a local swap mall I had. If you don't know what the freak a swap mall is, basically he's just like a broken, not like a broken down though, but like a broken uh, down wall, like an abandoned, but not really. It has some good stuff and some bad stuff in there. It feels like good stuff all over again. That's the place that I went there, which was a small mall. I'm not telling you where the freak I live, because then people will kind of try to track me. The package is probably will, though. <laughs> but I got, like, I say about seven plushes from that small mall. Well, I guess eight. Yeah, eight plushes I got. I got the Sonic plush I have in right here now. Hello. <laughs> the whole entire set, not including the exclusives, which I only had like freaking one, of the entire Funko uh, FNAF SL dislocation plushes, all of them. They weren't even Bullock. Those were the official ones, strangely enough. Then I got the Bullock, uh, Chanchi, Chanchi, uh, Fredbear plush. I thought it was real. Turned out to be fake. I probably had to. He, he's probably out of stock, so that's the only uh, available thing I have. Then I got a Golden Freddy plush of the same thing, except I transferred him into, uh... I was playing, like, wannabe child play wannabe, uh, with my Sonic plush right here. And kinda cut at his head a little bit, and then just flew off automatically, and I just thought of an idea before I even started YouTube. To make him into a custom-made, withered Golden Freddy head from FNAF 2. And that's why the plush got invented. Then I got a really dumb Bullock Mario plush, but we won't get into that though, so bear with me though. But where's the history with uh, my plushes though? <laughs> These I really don't count on them, but I really do though, <laughs> is the upgrades uh, stuff I have right now. A uh, hat, uh, yeah, a hat and a red bow tie. Now you may be thinking, where well, I got the bow top hat and the red bow tie? Well, the top hat. Well, it's an ash of a plush wall. You kind of see it's a wizard shape and not like a FNAF Freddy hat. Not like one of those. It was actually from a bootleg. A Shadow Freddy plush. Yeah. Remember back in the day around like 2006, like 2017 when the FNAF plushes, especially the exclusives of Series 1, became rare as heck? Yeah. I got one one of them and got it turned out it was a bootleg. No one wanted to use him because he just looked so weird. But there were some bootleggers, I mean not bootleggers, but like, there were some bootleggers that kind of mimic the the real ones, except they kind of look way skinnier than chubby. So, maybe you could get those if you want them. I don't know, I really don't like bootlegs though. They sometimes are good. Like some Mario plushes though, but yeah. So I had to cut off the hat, I was maybe thinking about turning them into FNAF 2 with it Shadow Frey, or Shadow Frey in that game in general. So I not to. And the bow tie had a weird like, issue, like, 
weird history. I'm going to history um, move here instead of actually having plushes. <laughs> uh, history was, uh, I was going to get a little bit plush. The little bit, yeah, I go. And I do have the plush now, but back in the day, around when Funko released the Twister One plushes, and around the time when they were going to release the Blacklight plushes, which are kind of cool colors, so even though only if you have a black light, but I do have maybe thing on making a video about that. I got the Boole plush. I hated it because number one, it looked chunkier than the plush itself. So yeah, but one thing was cool was that the bow tie was actually like small. I was thinking about using it, but then I got weird with it. Not weird, but like color weird. I decided to paint it red. I was gonna go black. I was gonna make a finesse trap instead, but I didn't want to. I don't want to have some weird stuff going on there. It colored it red. It looked good, but it didn't dry up. And I don't know how the camera could pick it up though, but you could kind of see a strange red mark on his shin. And so I eventually just decided to throw it out and then just make a whole entire new belt tie, which is kind of examples for like FNAF plushes. I might even think about making. Uh, series 1 mango with that bow tie. I was thinking about that same name, Funtown Fox, but FNAF critic, I mean, fans would say, no, Funtown Fox, if I mess up, that's wrong. No, because remember, FNAF Fox, they named that mango Funtown Foxy. Uh, stop it, okay? Next step after that, we have some conversation is the Tommy Sonic Boom Sonic push. And you can see how, if you know a condition, you'd know it by now. Some plushes like these are very rare, and the condition, if you, the camera could pick it up from the window, uh, yeah, he kind of a little bit worn down, and yeah. I'm going to uh, tell you something by the end of this video, okay? So, stay there, that, okay? Next up is the Tommy Sonic the Hedgehog Series 2 plushes, and it's the Series 2 Sonic Edition. Now, it makes sense, in fact, the Sonic, uh, the, the one they used for it was actually like this. Uh, the camera didn't want to focus, there we go. And... Strange enough, there was like a weird like, thing, and eventually they used this hand for a 1 12th scale plush. They're the same one. They used like series 1, but except for use this hand. I don't get why the fuck they even did that. But, there you go. And next up, yeah, you can see how his quills look different from freaking the boom. They look different. Uh, so the next up, oh, the uh, bow tie different. <laughs> next up was one of the most anticipated plushes to ever arrived ever since they released it and spricing is kind of going up in scale of prices like they dollars on second market it's the Tommy super classic called classic super what they have to call it sonic push now obviously we know this is a, an interpretation or something in between the lines of that of uh, sonic the fighters super sonic push he goes up like a thousand dollars or something like that and that's no good because he was in limited stock so, happy to say that there's like two, well I guess three now, but like two in the market of Super Classic Sonics. Something between the lines of that? I have no idea though, but at least he's a thing, so yeah. Next up in between the lines, I got some more as I can or something. It's not like five even though the colors seem different. Like in the series I'm going to have if I ever make a Sonic series. Those are going to be the four, but maybe pretty soon if I ever want to make a Sonic Later is at the two, I could probably use those colors, or maybe even switch this one out and use that. I don't know. These are like weird as heck plastic emeralds, and yeah. They're cool though, even though like the real ones, I want to get like a, like $30, for like five rings. So, yeah. And the next one is the Holy Grail, until I get more Sonic plushes. This G-E-E -E Sonic plush. Super Sonic. And from, like, <laughs> you probably seen it from my Skype video about the stuff that's going on in the world right now. Uh, that was back in the day, though, but not back in the days, so though. It was like a week ago I made it, way before even I did the upgrade special. But, uh, camera won't even focus, so. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I got him, and then. With some like newer updated, not really updated, but like some other stuff. We were in like, like in a weird stage. You're like marching and whatnot and scared as heck. So, yeah, a little funny story about that. I do got the tags in them though, just not to separate it, okay? When I think about doing something. Uh, he has a hanger, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Sit down, okay? Before we move on to any of the other stuff, though, I know this really isn't a plush, it's just part of it, though. It's the Super Mario Odyssey. I forgot which company made it, though. You kind of saw the tip of it. Super Mario Odyssey. Cappy. Cap plush. Now, this one, I keep on saying now, like, a lot of times, though. This was one of my favorite things back in the day, though. Like, literally. And you can barely even fit him, though. <laughs> But he has a crown jewel because I know fact it was like another piece, okay? I know that might be considered to be a plush, though, but I just like it, okay? Okay? Alright, next up we move on to the Mario series, and the first one we have is, I believe so if I stated correctly, the Sine or Little Buddy, if I remember, the new Super Mario Bros. U, Mario Plush. Now, the reason why I say New Super Mario Bros. U is because the later versions of this plush have a detailed mustache, and this one, the one I got, doesn't even have a mustache. It's just like a weird like, rip off of Luigi's. You can barely even see the detail on that. <laughs> and also, you may notice that why his hands are open. I don't know about the freak why, but I say the print it sounds like a uh, weird like, oh, like a Mario. And also, his cap kind of looks like the same fact that I decided to uh, use it as a weird like, smaller scale of a Mario plush that I'm about to show you later. Not now, no, but later. And she had Luigi. His side buns don't work. <laughs> so, yeah, same thing. First, one of my first Mario plushes ever. Some, okay? I'm about to show you something later, okay? Next up is Baby Characters, and it's Baby Mario. And you may see as this guy is like, whoa, he looks way different from the other plushes. Did you get new? Kinda did, kinda didn't though, but yeah. So, there you go. Next up is Baby Luigi. I have no idea what the freak is, the manufacturer, whoever you are, though. Can I mess up on this cap, though, because it's a lot longer, and I've been trying to make that better. The only close bit I'll ever get is that. Kind of looks like a rip, rip off clone of Baby Mario. And next up is the Baby Peach. And again, you may notice, whoa, something happened here. You didn't get the Baby Peach one, what happened there? And here comes the weirdest part of it, and also the weirdest thing there. I'm about to show you the two plushes that I had a long time ago. And it was my first Baby Mario characters, and you see how different they look. Like, really, he can't even stand up on his own. See, this cap is way better, except for the weirdest like, brim, though. I think they put more stuff in the top than they did on the bottom, though. Oh, I wasn't going to realize, though. But, you may look at them as like, they, they look different, is that also and this is old? Well, it turns out, those are the originals, and these are the originals too. The reason why I got them is because, well, Bam Mario's cat looks different, because in fact I was thinking, hmm, something gets out there and makes them look good, go look in the baby cat is, fail. And it's a fact that the condition too, because, well. So, yeah, just a weird like, little thing, though. I got two baby cats as the same brand, and besides, the two tags say 2012. Uh, yes, it's 2012 right there, so, there you go. Just brief, okay? Alright. If you can say this would be a cat I guess, though, even though, I don't know why I even got him, though. <laughs> Next up is... A bootlegged version of the Goldie or G or whatever the heck they I call him Goldie. Goldie... Ease up, well, I'll just go to my plush. Or as I like to call it, Mario, because you know, Mario, like, but because you know, March and May had the same M and M, so I just say Mario. Uh, you can sound a bit of that. But yeah, you know, since I had to do as well as some days. So yeah, he looks way different because I think he's a bootleg of a, a plush that's kind of expensive. Besides, they're kind of in the weird condition nowadays. Okay. How do I keep on saying that word every single time? So now we got the Mario enemies, and a little weird like, story about why I decided to collect more and more Mario plushes as the years went on. Like one and two, like the only plush I did ever have were the baby cats, as I just showed you, baby Peach, and then the Mario Bros. And then another plush that will be shown later. But one time at my school, though, my classmates had like Mario plushes, and I kind of remember those and decided to get them. And now I just have it from looks now. <laughs> and it is the first enemy plush 
not really my first enemy plush though. The first one of the batch though is the little buddy Goomba plush. I might say Sinead, even though the Sinead one has an open mouth. Has card, but I guess I don't know. But, yeah, still looks cool though. Next up is, if I say it correctly though, a uh, little buddy, uh, the little buddy Koopa Troopa. I know Sinead's a different because in fact those eyes are like literally longer and also that dumb um, like the game's small, smaller but there's that and again paratrooper i think it's made by little buddy else and they they look basically the same except for the touch tag uh, intact himself and my little my my old my youngest self decided to cut up all the touch tags and now i don't know which company made them I only have like be my baby luigi the sonic plush up there and that really that's about it of a touch tag plushes I have right now now. <laughs> and then next up is the uh, may look big to you, but I think this is the uh, little buddy bullet bill. Yeah. I know the the one with the Super Mario tag, not the Mario tag that's used in stars right now. He's this one's small and the other one's like big. So there you go. Let me just fix the camera, because it's a weird wonkin. There we go. Next up is... I think I might be the first YouTuber, or even frankly, even plush tuber, to even have this plush. In his crazy, I probably would have gotten the company this in the plush itself, though, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not even the first one to even own this, though. It's the World of Nintendo Cheap Cheap Plush. Uh, yeah, we don't want to focus, because it's bad. <laughs> but... Try to see through the blurriness, that I focus. You see that this plush looks way different from this and they, or even Little Buddy. I think it's, they're just the same company, except they use different materials, in fact, even different molds in general. <laughs> but, the, the real one is like, has a dubbier face, which I think that's how cheap seats normally are, in fact, even the real counterparts, counterparts are, actually. And, they have felt tail and mohawk. And on general, just a bigger version. Maybe even use that for like a mini version of the big butt, uh, the biggie, the big cheap cheap, or the heck. Before they decide to have his own mold. But, one last place to actually give his face that shot. These are like the actual, like, real, how the cheap cheap actually looks. But except for the freaking uh, mohawk and then the tail. No idea why. And if I believe so, my only plush is way before I even. The enemy has gotten to the way right now with Mario, Luigi, Baby Cats, Baby Peach, and Cheap Cheap. And also, again, another one I'm about to show you pretty soon though, but not yet, because, you know, obviously. And then we got, stated correctly though, maybe it's the, I don't know, I got these like a weird like mall, I'm not like in a weird mall, I was like, in a, in a section of mall that was like some Japan stores. As in, no, you know what caused the this thing to begin with, though. <laughs> I still can't say it. But there's some home. There's some of the those places have some of the greatest my pleasures. If you want to go go collecting there, do it right now before something happens, real quick before they get rare. <laughs> and get them, and also get try to get the multi more. I don't have the multi more. I'll even get the hammer, bro. That's in the same position as the Cooper Troopers. But I think this is little buddy Looper. Cut tish hacks again because they look annoying, but this one kind of actually blends it. So, boom, it's punch right there. Looks weird. Uh, get that out of here. Next up, though, is the. Uh, if I said it correctly, it's the little buddy bum bum blush. Now, I got this guy with between, if I said it correctly, the Goomba, Koopa, and Paratrooper. Those four reunited. Yeah, I don't know why I made that joke, though. But I wanted to, cause I don't know why the freak I sit there. I was just felt like this bomb bomb didn't feel right. Number one, the the tip of the trim of where it gets off. I forgot the thing. I get the trail. I guess the trail of dogs. I'm recording. <laughs> uh, the trail of it didn't have the black strip, and I think newer versions have that though. I wanted to like, paint it, but reality purposes. Remember, remember. <laughs> and so next up is the. Little buddy, boo, boo. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, this was my like 
parts of an enemy to ever exist. And you may say, why is this little buddy? Because his tongue is like freaking a weird as heck color of pink, if I believe so. That's the only reason why I say that this is actually the little buddy Boo. And strange enough, there's some weird as effect, like a weird as heck Boo with, you know it by now though, but a weird as heck Boo with a touch on the little Nintendo with a tag that says Super Mario. Uh, boo. <laughs> Ah, why not make that joke is unknown. <laughs> and as our next up is the uh, again, stated it correctly if I'm wrong though. I'm very wrong possibly, okay? I know that the boo makes sense and the ba bomb, but everything else I don't know. <laughs> the uh, I don't know what the boo I know the boo is a little buddy, you can say in fact Sinead is like I have a big brain moment in there. <laughs> Maybe this is Lil Buddy or Sine or some sorts, I don't know. I say it's Lil Buddy, okay? Lil Buddy Chain Chomp. Seems weird to say, in fact, these are little versions of themselves. And besides, the Bootleggers, I mean, not the Bootleggers, but like the Bootleg version of Chain Chomps were a lot bigger than they were. They were even had like two colors that actually match, or like, I guess three, three colors that match Chain Chomps. Black was like back in, like, in, like, on when they released Super Mario Bros. 3. Then there was the blue kind, which I think, which actually kind of swayed this one. And then the red one from Super Mario Chun Sunshine. And those were like bigger and actually came with a real chain. I think it was plastic, and I think this is too. But nonetheless, though, it's a good push. And again, the reason why was because of, you know, Mario Kart. Because the baby's had an exclusive item. I don't wonder how I got said that. <laughs> and so next up is the Sine slash All Star Dry Bones push. Now. You obviously see that you've seen him though, but when you know he's a new addition. He has his touch tag still, and he even says 2017 in his name. Uh, weird sick stuff. I don't get why. <laughs> Anyways, though, he in the uh, he's in a weird sick position though, because in fact that he looked different from the other Cooper Troopers. But then again, they did make a reskin of that, but just like in the same way as the Cooper Troopers. So yeah. And, like, if I try to remember that there were some characters who just didn't get officials until, like, later down the line with Sine decided to do it. Chain Chomp, Dry Bones, Dry Bowser, Toadette, Rosalina, and Daisy. There were all sorts of them, to be exact. I think even Kamek, or oh, some people call it Magic Cooper. I don't know. He just looks a weird like, addition to my collection, though, even though he's a cool one. And next up is the power ups. You didn't see anything. And you got him right here. So first off, we have the we have the World Nintendo coin. I could probably use this as an item if I wanted to make a declaration about Mario Kart 9. Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> it may sound, but the battery died up pretty soon, so it's just a heap of junk anyways. Next up is a Tommy Club Machi Machi. I always keep on forgetting that they're made by Machi Machi. <laughs> You know, like you manja all of it again. And it's uh I'm, I'm recording here, I don't wanna press stop. <laughs> and so next is the red shell. They made a whole entire uh, item roulette of Mario Kart. I had to stop. Take two. So then we have the club machi machi red shell. They made a whole entire freaking item roulette of items and I didn't get the Bobama or um bullets because I already had those bushes anyways. But maybe the one I the big blue bell, not the bonsai bell though, but the main whole entire list, then they made a red show. And these are like the first ones you ever got in since like the Mario Kart Wii items, like the banana, thunder cloud, and golden mushroom. Like right, even this mushroom here, which is so cute, you could just squeeze the hell up and half the death out of. Uh, sorry, don't do that. It's very rare. <laughs> Like, you can use a custom made one, you can make like a 1-up, you can make the golden mushroom, maybe it'd be red, maybe it'd be hot though. So yeah. The slime, it just looks like a rip-off cookie cutter. And... Wait, I wasn't gonna do something here, let me do it. And... <laughs> just how long as you got a banana snipe, it feels good. So, yeah, some items. Random as ever though, but... I try to make a weird as up a mini mushroom, and this is just a squeezy, squishy, um, mushroom. They made like a bunch of them. In fact, they even made a luma, which I could think about doing if I ever got a Rosalina plush, though. 
but the next one is the Queen of Gold of Bushes. And it's good, but it also has some ways of stuff, though. <laughs> you kind of see it, though, and you seen it in the video, like, about two years ago from now on. The Sine Super Mario Odyssey Plus Normal Outfit. I like to announce that for a second there. <laughs> this plush is amazing. I can tell you that much. Oh, this guy was on eBay. I thought I was going to get the bootleg one. Even though bootlegs didn't made it back in the day. But so happy that this guy came. And ooh, it's every plush that you can imagine. All the details are cramped up into everything. That even had freaking hair, which the ones didn't even do. Because, you know, you weren't supposed to take them off. Yeah, Cappy easy to. I think they made like four My Odyssey pushes. They made Cappy. They made this one. They made the wedding outfits. But Blue Leg decided to take a toll. They made a freaking Mario and Luigi outfit. Made a freaking wedding Bowser in that one too. So you never know what Blue Leg is gonna have a hold of the future, you know? Next is the push that will blow your freaking mind. And I wish I could have had the Blue Leg so I could even show you. It's the Sine slash All Stars. Dry Bowser, my goodness, this thing is a freaking killer plush and it's an owner, should own it right now. I mean, all the Tito is crammed in. You thought Bootleg was able to do it? Yeah. That's my invention of Dry Bowser. <laughs> but I think why they decided to make like a Dry Bowser plush was because of the awful Bootleg. And if I even made it, freaking. Dry Bowser Jr., which maybe they could think of, maybe not though, because Nintendo didn't even think of making a Dry Bowser Jr. But if I said it correctly though, the shell color is actually from the blue leg, the shell color was actually tinted in here, and the mohawk was actually tinted in here. I say mohawk, even though it doesn't really look like a mohawk, but he's a gorgeous piece to even have in your collection. In fact, even when this one's standing alone, he looks. In like freaking big, but he actually is, and he's freaking like really bad, you know that. <laughs> but I think they make like like they did with the Giga Bowser, Bowser though, not Smash Bros. But like like the new like the new series, the new Mario, new Super Mario Bros. series. They might even think about making a Giga Dry Bowser. That would be mind boggling, cause you know they did that like in new too. Yeah, I don't get why they did that. I got some weird as ever Mario slash Party City Mario coins. No idea where the heck I got these just look cool though, and besides, they're gonna be used for a lot of them, okay? And so next up we got <laughs> we have some Crash Bandicoot posters. I only got like two though. We got this one. Which can we use for a series if I ever decide to. Maybe, maybe not, okay. And finally, we got Crazy Eye. So, there you go. We kind of stand around the time, around the scale of the Goldie Mario Plush. That's an example, even though that's bull like. Yeah. So, yeah. Next up, we got Cuphead. And then we got the Cuphead Plush itself, made by Funko. Yeah, his design kind of looks weird from the freaking hand. And oh, yeah, his shoe looks weird. Why I did that, I was wanted to make a custom shoe, but I decided to use black. I mean, not black. Brown marker. No races, anything. Uh, yeah. To make it look like the game itself, I decided to leave some spots in it. And it looks kind of weird on camera. And even weird on the freaking real life itself. Then we're going to do a mug man, because in fact, uh, I don't know. I didn't have time. And then we got a bootleg. Ghost Cuphead. Now, they didn't make bootleg Cuphead plushes when they first were actually released. And... Yeah, this one actually kind of surpasses the good side. For at least now, before they decide to make an actual one. But, he's gonna nonetheless. And the final push we have is the... Hello Neighbor Angry Expression Push. <gasps> so, yeah. Got him, got him while they're hot though, and now they're freaking extinct. A.K.A. not in the stars anymore. And here's his flashlight. So that is it, my guys. That's my plush collection games edition, okay? So, yeah, I could have had it for now, in fact, even Angry Birds, but I wanted to keep it traditional, okay? Gaming as a whole is very weird, okay? We have good stuff like Mario, Bats, or like some Sonic games, okay? But what do you thought of the collection, though? Comment down below, turn everything, turn on everything, what the frick I said. Make sure I got on, turn notifications. 
Go into the settings on your mobile device, put on, yeah, personal all. Oh, follow me on my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, make a whole name of a person.